urinary catheters indications this is a huge deal here in the hospitals in the United States because hospitals here get penalized or they lose money or that cost them a lot of money when they have any catheter related complications that happens after inserting the catheter during the hospital stay. Well, if the catheter was present on admission, things are not that bad. That's why it's so important to document if the patient has a fully catheter or a urinary catheter on admission or not. That's why most hospitals in the US, they have policy about fully catheter. They, they want fully catheter to be used as minimum as possible and to be removed as soon as possible. That's why indications, you have to have proper indications. One important thing I have to mention at the very beginning that nurses inconvenience is not um, an indication of course we need to be nice with nurses we need to make them happy help them with their job but we should explain to them nicely and pleasantly that oh may maybe this is not an indication to put a, 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 a urinary catheters that's been said the following I'll just go case by case of exactly what you're gonna see in the hospitals and when you will be questioned about possibly a placement of a fully catheters rather than going by the textbooks indications first of all this is an ICU crush course so critically ill patients all of them needs a fully catheter really intermittent catheterization is not that practical in critically ill patients because you need to monitor the urine output hour by hour if they have a suprapubic catheter then you can use that the second thing is urinary obstruction urinary tract obstruction this is we use a fully catheter mainly and in some really bad cases we call urology to do a suprapubic if there is any issue with the urinary tract or the urethra injury severe structures this and that so urinary obstruction hematuria blood in the urine specifically when there is blood clots because this may clog the urethra and cause obstruction and ur urinary retention that's one also if you need to run cbi you're thinking you should put a large french three ways catheter fully catheter instead of the regular one that's another issue uh, urinary uh, fluid management somebody with fluid overload or AKI acute kidney injury you need to monitor the urine output here if the patient is able to void by himself and able to void and reliably void in a container and tell the nurses or nurses aid about that every time then you don't have a you don't need a catheter you can just calculate that if there is an issue with that it's not reliably um, measured you can use Foley here you can use external catheter and you can use the intermittent catheter it's called IC just to save us some time so that's for fluid management that's another thing if you need really but remember if the patient able to to void and reliably can void in a container then you don't have to put a catheter incontinence the nurse will call you she's incontinent or he's incontinent and he's wearing his bed this this is not an indication please explain to the nurse nicely that they can use pads or um, but this is not an indication for 
replacing a catheter, whether uh, invasive or non-invasive. Another one is prolonged immobilization. Like a patient, let's say, in bed, needs to be in bed immobile for a reason or another. And here we can use Foley, we can use intermittent I, uh, catheter, and we can use condom catheter or external catheter. Or if the patient has a suprapubic to start with, then we can use that until the patient is able to uh, move. Because some patients, they cannot pee while they are in bed. They, have to, they will tell you, I have to stand to do that. So another thing is sacral ulcers or wounds or decubitus ulcers. If leaking the urine into the ulcer can impair healing, that's an indication to put a cat whether again you can use Foley catheter intermittent catheter external catheter whenever you can use external catheter go for that for the reason we mentioned last video to minimize the risk of urethral injury and infection in urogenic bladder most of these patients they have a way to drain their bladder at home whether a Foley catheter with a suprapubic catheter or intermittent catheterization so continue whatever they're using at home and that brings me to the point if the patient is using a way to drain their foley just continue what they were doing at home unless there is a clinical a clinical concern from you regarding that way whether suprapubic whether intermittent self catheterization through urethral catheterization or foley catheter um, another one is surgeries you will notice that most surgeries they put a fully catheters to monitor urine output um, and during surgery these should be removed as soon as possible usually in the PACU and each hospital I think they have a policy to remove uh, these post-op catheters within 24 hours unless there is a clinical indication to keep them in urological surgeries they are different and uh, they may need to keep the catheter longer than that the another issue is hospice or terminal patients those usually we keep the catheters um, sometimes it's just part of their comfort because most of these are debilitated very weak barely can move unless it's requested by family to remove it or by the patient himself these are the main uh, indications practically in the hospital you will encounter remember once the indication is not there please remove as soon as possible the hospital will be happy everybody will be happy all these numbers are monitored in the hospital they can be penalized by medicare for any complications